My question is about double betrayal and the aftermath of trauma that follows. My wife has over 20 years started having an affair, physical, emotional, and sexual. I discovered the affair when I found detailed letters. That was enough damage to last a lifetime. The affair partner was my best friend of 34 years. My wife has only prolonged all the healing by withholding everything. We had to separate after a few months, but after a year, we decided to try EMS online. I believe she's finally trying to be honest. I needed my wife and I needed my best friend to lean on at the time due to the tragic death of at work I witnessed and walking away from my career. Then my father suddenly passed away. In short, should I believe the affair is over? Should I stay with my wife? What kind of professional help should I seek? Well, first I wanna tell you, finish the EMS online course and then check back in with yourself. Put, I would say put these questions over to the side, especially if your wife is doing really good recovery work. It's taken her a year to get there maybe. Um, and that's not super uncommon. It does take the unfaithful spouse, a lot of them, a lot longer to come along. But it sounds like she's gotten there. See what kind of work that she does and you do and that you do together through the CMS online course before you make any kind of decisions. That's one of the things I would say, because I don't know you guys, I have a little paragraph here. Um, and is she willing to have no contact with the affair partner? That sucks, pardon my language for you, because it was your best friend. If you've watched any of John Haney's videos, you know, this is a situation that's very much like his. So um, you're not alone, I promise you that. Um, <clears throat> is she willing to take a polygraph that she's told you everything? That can be one tool. Um, I can't tell you whether you should stay or whether you should go, oh, that's a decision, it's a deeply personal one for everybody. But I will say, I'm guessing that triggers are still very big for you. Um, there's been a lot of losses in your life, and I can only imagine how lonely it felt or feels. And one of the things that I just see over and over again that's really helpful for people in this stage where you are is to find an, a therapist that does EMDR. And I think that could really be helpful to you uh, to find somebody in your area. If you go to the MD, M, EMDR website, it's emdria, E-M-D-R-I-A dot org can be really helpful and you can find a therapist that's close to you that does that. So that's, that's my recommendation. Hopefully that's helpful. Thanks for writing in.